it seems to us that the confidential fund is being used comfortably. We have to emphasize that it's, it is addressing a very important reason, and that is the promotion of peace and order, con conduct of surveillance activities, including matters concerning national security. Now, I wish to share this slide showing the LGUs which have the huge or the biggest number of confidential fund. This is representing year 2022. The Vow City has 460 million. Cebu City has 7.38 million. The City of Manila has 120 million. Makati City has 240 million. And Quezon City has 75 million. This is the history of confidential fund of the Vow City. 2016, it is 144 million. 2017, it is 294. 2018, it's 420. 2019, it is 460. 2019 up to 2022, it is 460 million. I just wish to state for the record, Mr. Chair, that while we acknowledge that the LGU is entitled to confidential fund because under Section 16 of the Local Government Code, bahagi po ng mandato nila is the promotion of peace and order. I just wish to state for the record that during this time, 2018 to 2022, the mayor of the Bau City, I believe, is no less than the vice president. And if this is the case, Mr. Chair, I believe that the COA has to be very strict concerning the very loose, the very light, and the very few requirements which are being imposed in procurement and even liquidation of confidential funds. What I wish to point out, Mr. Chair, Maluwag tayo sa confidential fund because we give value to matters concerning peace and order and national security. However, Mr. Chair, I observe na ito pong kaluagan na ito ay nagiging dahilan kung bakit ang COA ngayon are issuing the notice of this allowance and even this Congress is prompted to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation. I wish to manifest my observation the, the irregularities which have been observed in the utilization of confidential fund in the office of the vice president should be checked as well with respect to the utilization of confidential fund of the Vow City during those times that the mayor is no less than our vice president. I submit, Mr. Chair.